This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. Today's episode is brought to you by StudioSweden.com. Listeners of the Royal Wee can get 15% off any purchase by using coupon code GOOFGREASE, all one word, at checkout. They sell headphones that not only look great, but they sound great too. And they ship worldwide. Worldwide! Again, that is StudioSweden.com. S-U-D-I-O, Sweden.com. I'm I'm serious about the salad though. Uh huh. An, an onion, egg, an egg salad, cut up an onion, a green onion. Yeah, some uh, ooh, like sweet pickles. We can get some cans of tuna. Or, Let's just, or relish. Here's what we do, man. Here's the, there's the, my favorite salads: tuna salad, uh huh, potato salad, ooh, uh, uh, macaroni salad, egg salad. Why not just <laughs> why not just take why not just take macaronis, eggs? I know where you're going with this. It's gonna taste like slop. No, it'll taste like something pigs eat. No. All the salads is slop. Take a pota- each, each individual salad is delicious. You you take other you start mixing salads. You start you you veer towards slop. Well, how can we unslop it? I want to add them all together. Well, that's slop. But there you can take it away. Okay, you can well, then make them all, back. We'll make well then you have to make them all separate and you can mix them at your leisure. How many I've been sitting here all fucking day and make salads, individual salads. That's gonna well, take it, that's gonna be a whole day adventure. It'd be the whole thing, same thing, except for no, if I'm in it on one bowl, it's one meal, it's one event. But it's the same thing, just different meats, different cores. So you're saying we make a, a a tuna salad, an egg salad, a potato salad, and a macaroni salad, and then we mix them as we want. Yeah, I say we make one big mega salad. It's gonna be slop. We can add ham. Slop. What you're gonna mix tuna, eggs. What was the other one? Macaroni and potato. Oh, well, those two can go in either one of those. I'm saying just make a big thing of potato slash macaroni salad. Keep your meats to the side, and then you can... Why are you doubling up on carbs? Why wouldn't it be a potato and egg salad and a tuna and macaroni salad? You got a carb, you got a meat. Why are you doing double meat, double carb? I'm not saying you're not listening to what I'm saying. Who's making a tuna egg salad sandwich? You! You're the one who just said you want to mix all this slop together. A, a tuna egg salad sandwich is not a tuna egg salad potato macaroni salad sandwich. That's a different beast. I really don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking... No. Listen. <laughs> you you said... Yeah. Let's combine them. No. You no, said make them separate. I'm anti-combined. No, no. Yes. Yes. You said make them separate. But mm-hmm. my point is... You're, you, you broke them into two groups. The starch group and the, and the meat group. But do you add your meats to the starch? So you make two separate meat salads? No, you make one big start. You make a potato salad, you make a macaroni salad. Yeah, and then you add whatever protein you want to those salads. So you could double up and have a double protein potato m- meat seafood salad. Or you can have macaroni salad with some eggs and tuna. So we're making the, you're the one complicated it. All right. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Royal We. Yeah. I'm Sam. I'm Nate. A salad's going to get made. Well, it'll be something. It's not going to be slop. If you mix all the things you said, it's going to be so- Okay, let's get past We'll see what happens. I'm going to do it. Check out our social media for pictures of the potential <laughs> slop fest. <laughs> I'm Sam Silly Slop. Sam Silly Slop. Sam Silly Salad Slop. Uh, what we can do... Is take pictures of it, share them with you guys for likes and snakes or subscribes. Snakes. Yeah. <laughs> Send us some snakes. But if you guys are joining us for the first time, you know what we normally do is, other than talk about salads, yeah, we're an exclusively a salad cooking podcast. Yeah. Uh, we talk about the news. More specifically, the headlines of the news. We do not read the articles. We, get, we read headlines and we have a conjecture-based conversation based on what we think maybe the news could be. Yeah. We just look at them and there we go. We do allow ourselves one card. Card. And we let ourselves read one article. At the end of it, we figure, well, which one are we going to learn about? Yeah. Whichever one intrigues us the most. Right. If you guys want to send us headlines, and you should, you guys can do that at Royal Wecast on Twitter or Royal Wecast at gmail.com. Gmail. You guys can also send us a sound effect. I like to thank Nate. You're the one who found this sound effect this week. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. There it is. Yeah, thank you, Nate. Uh, we want to slap on in? Let's slap on down. All right. To fun uh, town. We don't really do this kind of in the middle of the day. Yeah, this is pretty late at night. It's like midnight. I am like... I, I Sam is two and a half hours past his bedtime. I, it is. I'm just getting rolling. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm an old man. I'm programmed. I go to sleep at like 10.30. Old man robot. So I'm drinking a beer, which I, I mean, is making me feel silly, but it's going to make me sleepy. Well, that's what will happen is maybe your beer will wear off right about the time this podcast gets done. Then you can just go right into Snooze Town. Oh, that's a good idea. You wanna, let's, well, let's make that happen. Let's go. <laughs> Here's one that actually sent, was sent to us by John, friend of the show. Nah. I've actually been itching to talk about this. And he's very wisely sent it to me. Oh. He did it, sent it to you and me. <clears throat> yeah. So I get to surprise you with it. I like to get surprised. <laughs> That's our food noise. All right. California music teacher accused of giving flutes tainted with semen to students. What's wrong with people? Tainted. What weird level? Yeah, that's the word for that. Tainted with semen. What weird level of, like, <laughs> I'll get those tainted. little I'll get those little fuckers. What? I don't... What? It wasn't children, was it? Accused of giving students. Yeah, but a student, you can be college age, a student. Anybody can go back to school. Never quit learning, Sam. Never quit. California music teacher accused of giving flutes tainted with semen to students. I, I assume it's children. Okay. Well, boo. That's <laughs> it makes them doubly sleep. But what, what tests did they do? I, mean, I guess they could define semen on stuff. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was thinking maybe it's adults. Because if someone put it in their mouth like, oh, this tastes like semen, you know? What the what the deuce? Yeah. Maybe it's a real kinky kid. See, mm. I mean, it might be high school kids. It could be high school kids. They grow up quick these days. Reincumbent bovine growth hormones, man. Drinking that milk and then they start drinking semen. Hunching, hunching up, hunching. <laughs> accused. It doesn't even say that he did it. It was that he was yeah, accused of it. You can accuse anybody of anything. I accuse which you. I'm, which I'm sure was his defense. Hey, you can accuse me all day long, pal. You can accuse anyone of anything. You can. Matter of fact is, I've never even seen a flute. Yeah, as a music teacher. What? You personally have it? Or you're saying that was him? You're the music man saying that. Let me think. Can you honestly say whether you have seen or haven't seen a flute in your life? Yes, I have. You've seen one? You definitely think of it. When's the last time you saw a flute? Probably when I was in high school. That was ages. I know. It was tainted. <laughs> <laughs> that flute, let me tell you. <laughs> that flute <laughs> was tainted. I, I mean, you what kind of? How do they prove it? What motive does he have? Were the students just like not paying attention? Ah, what? There's no reason. There's no reason to do that to a group of high school. He, no, somebody's wrong. Something's wrong with them. There's no reason you to think do that he's to like anybody. Off on it? Absolutely. Why would you do it? You're not. You're not. Com pun intended. Coming up with that sort of thing. To there's something to it. You know, it's like a. Uh, some, I think there's something to it. There is. It's like being a, a you know like voyeurism or something. There, but I don't know. You can be you can be voyeuristic, right? Not right, perverted. right. I th um, we've been horned up, okay. not together, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have a lot of horny nights. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I can remember, especially when you're like 16. Yeah, you have more hormones than sense. Yeah, right. Even back then, I can't imagine doing any sort of like malicious. Horny activity, right? Because that, that's where you, that's where your brain takes a little turn instead of being like, like I said. And worst case scenario, this is a grown man and these are children, and that's it, just the best worst. case scenario. Best case is it's, it's college. <laughs> All the way around, that's a bad scenario. So, but the best of the bad, yeah, maybe it's college. Maybe it's college. Maybe it's a bunch of still not condoning blasting off into flutes. Is so, he even going in them? You think tainted with it? So that means he's come up with either some sort of delivery system other than the one I he one was time I, given with. I blasted off into a bottle one time. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did, uh -huh. and it like created a vac vacuum suction, like the expulsion uh -huh. physics. I don't know how it works, but it like it like uh, sucked the tip of my dick, and it hurt so bad. Uh -huh. I was like, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Fucking bottles, man. <laughs> Someone explain that. <laughs> Why are you fucking a bottle? <laughs> Science. <sighs> it was wide mouth, wide mouth bottle. <laughs> I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. Speaking of, I've never seen a flute. Uh huh. Speaking of, blind burglar. <sighs> wrong line of work. Jailed for his. You're not ready for this number. How many offenses do you think this blind burglar has committed? First of all, I want to say congratulations. You're saying that right. What, burglar? <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> it's the beer. Help me say the burglar. Yeah. burglar. How many offenses? So I'm not, I'm not going to finish this. Time. I want you to give me a number. Blind burglar jailed for his blah, blah, blah offense. How many do you think? How many is he up to? Un Oh man, I don't even know. The way you're playing, it, you're saying it like it should be some very high number of Ugh. blind burgles. He's a blind burglar. Which what the fuck? Right. Were you just leaving, leaving smelly things out or things that click and clack so we can find them? Oh yeah. Well, I, I, 
Good on you, man. I don't, give me a number. Give me a number. Uh, 43rd. One hundred and ninety second offense. Dude was almost breaking the double the double mark. <laughs> <laughs> double the double mark? Was that two hundred? Two hundred. The blind burglar jailed after his one hundred and ninety second offense after leading police on chase from school raid into river. What? I'm not even sure what any of this means. Okay. A blind we- burglar. Blind burglar jailed for his 192nd offense. So we can be okay. We can be sure there's a burglar, someone who steals, right? Someone who burgles, stealing things, and he is unable to see right. unless he's burgling the blind. He's oh. a blind burglar. He's just burgling blind people. That's gotta be what it is. It's gotta be because he leads them on the chase. If a man <laughs> is blind and he's burgled almost 200 times. And then when he gets finally gets caught, he leads them on some sort of what what did, what did it say from a maybe, school maybe we're to a, like, yeah, what is, I, maybe we're in a in a place with big wide open area like a real like Kansas yep just flat nothing going around no trees well, there's nowhere to hide in Kansas well, he's, there's a chase they he ran yeah and he ran from what a school raid it says right yeah what's that mean from school raid into a river <laughs> I love everything about this Wait. what. <laughs> Does not being able to see make you a better swimmer? We're not getting into the whole... I want to clarify that. Because I really listened to the episode. I don't think I really made myself clear. Uh-huh. Okay. What we're referring to is, I think, last episode, mm-hmm. or episode two episodes ago, two episodes ago, yeah. I, I talked about how if you were blind or you can't hear, it lets you see, like, monsters or... That's what I meant was... <laughs> yeah, tune back into that one. <laughs> Now, listen, what I was trying to say is if you're blind, it lets you see monsters, and I stand by it. <laughs> I'd like to clarify the position that I was holding back in episode uh, two episodes ago, 114 or something. Uh-huh. Listen, I do have something to say. Okay. I wasn't trying to say that blind people can see ghosts. Okay. But what I was trying to say is because they're not distracted by the vision, they can be set more sensitive we did talk that about we, that because we said kind of like little how children perceive paranormal things more than adults because they've got less to be distracted by. Yeah. So I think I, I, I think saying, it was, I thought it was clear. All right. Well, I'm tired of all the hate mail. I mean, I'm with. I'm on your side. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Meanwhile, this man's in the river. <laughs> I'm with you. I think he's rob. He's burglaring. Fuck you. Got me. I can't say it now. He's robbing the blind. There's got to be. No, but no, a burglar means gonna, he, it doesn't burglary mean you've broken into their home. Blind burglar. I is feel that like what you're going to pick is? someone to, to rob. It's got to be the deaf. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they can still see. But they're sleeping. True. You're not going to wake them up. But they have other senses to let them know when burglars enter. Such as? They can sense it like kids seeing ghosts. Man, we just were over this. <laughs> <laughs> I am very interested in this. Yeah, me too. Because the thing that's getting me is burglary. If I'm not mistaken, means you can you're entering you're entering the someone's home. You're going somewhere and burglaring burglar burglaring. How does he know the blind people live there? <laughs> right, unless he's robbing. He's staking them out. He's is he smart. burgling the same blindfold? Was well, clearly in his 192 first 192 times. I'll say this in his first rodeo. He just, he knows he's got a sense. Yeah. Some people, man, are blessed with certain things. This guy's robbing the blind. He's blessed. What do you mean? Like he just has blind sense? Yeah. Or the opposite. He's a, he's, he's blind and he can burgle. Hey, so I mean, hey, everybody hey, gets one. Take a look. See that man over there? Yeah. He's blind. Let's burgle him. I know. I feel that he's blind. And then he goes, yeah, but I'm not deaf assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I, you know, there's a there's a blind gentleman who lives sort of near us. Have you seen him wandering the streets? Yeah, I've seen. Uh, there's a blind gentleman around, and I just think of like how that life uh, that life of just being blind. I mean, we're in Asia. We can't speak Chinese, right? Imagine being blind on top of that. No, like some great. days my eyes kind of are itchy, uh-huh. and I'm like, here it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm gonna go blind in Asia. Yeah, you'll be slinging sweet potatoes, man, in a week. <laughs> I'm interested in this one. Yeah, me too. I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. And other news. Here, here, here's one that I found. Every now and then we read these articles, and it's always someone, usually in a southern state, in a position of governmental power. Uh huh. I'm leaving a paper trail that leads to nonsense. Right. Arkansas woman admits to using county cash to buy a dog tuxedo. How'd you think you were going to get away with that? Right. Yeah, it got, it's all coming back, you know? She admitted to it, like, yes. All right, I bought the damn dog a tuxedo. You're the one that wanted him to come to the 
congressman's speech. <laughs> the government, the governor's ball. <laughs> yeah. Can't have him showing up in his, like that. Mr. Your Mr. Pickles cleans up nice. Mr. Pickles, the government dog. <laughs> the government dog. <laughs> Mr. Pickles, Mr. Pickles, government dog. <laughs> it's a little Dachshund. Yeah. <laughs> Dachshund. Dachshund? Dachshund? Wiener dog? Dachshund? Is it Wiener dog? <laughs> the Wiener dog is dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> him a tuxedo he has diplomatic immunity <laughs> yes ma'am but you don't chink handcuffs clinking oh oh damn <laughs> mr pickles please i would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you paper trails and you she admits to it though yeah so someone accused her she's like yeah yeah i bought that dog a tuxedo i didn't know that was wrong listen if that's wrong i, I don't, don't want to be right, right. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds more like a bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. Here's another one I found myself. Ford disguised a person. Ford. Ford. You're going to see who that is in a second. Ford disguised a person. What? This is insane. I think I know who it is. As a seat. To test... <laughs> I'm laying this out real slow just to uh, gauge your response. So far, it's been a good, it's I, been a nice I, I've response. seen people dressed as seats getting Taco Bell. This is <laughs> Ford disguised the person as a seat to test how we react to driverless cars. Disguise the person as a seat. Surprisingly, that doesn't shock me very much. Interesting. So they just disguise like the person is sitting in a driver's seat. Yeah, because I've seen I've seen things where people disguise it. Not not all the Ford was behind any of this, but uh, Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford people, and they look it looked just like a driverless car, <clears throat> and they would pull up to a drive-through, and people would be like, "What? Uh, what? Uh, uh, and be just freaking out because nobody was driving the car, and they would order like you know what's something from Taco Bell. How would they order though if there's no one in the car? Well, they can lean up and be like, "Yeah." Oh, when they're at the, the yeah. Want two enchiladas? Remember the last time you've been into a drive-through? Yeah, it was the last time I was in America. <laughs> Were you playing a flute? No. What I miss? <laughs> <laughs> remember I said? Can you remember the last time you saw a flute? Oh, but that was when I was in high school. I'm just referencing the, the word "remember." <laughs> oh, well, that's a long, <laughs> long, windy road. <laughs> hey, Nate, remember? Why, yes. <laughs> I really <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I often remember. <laughs> Sometimes I lay asleep at night. I lay asleep at night, resting in the knowledge that I have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Damn you, Mr. Pickles! <laughs> another theme. I got. I, we have another theme here. We got weird animal news. So we got Mr. Pickles. Here's another thing. <laughs> Psychic skunk. Oh, God damn. Oh, no. Now, yeah. You Wait. can pretend to be a seat all day long. You tell me psychic skunk. Well, there's two there's two well, there's two ways to emphasize this because there's no punctuation in this headline. So I'm gonna read it two ways. Okay. You, you you choose which one you this like. This is then. psychic skunk two ways. Psychic skunk search is a success. Or psychic sunk psych Whoa. <laughs> Did it burgle? It burgle. Psychic skunk search is a success. Or psychic skunch. <laughs> Everybody. It's hard. Psychic skunk. Psychic skunk search is a success. Man, to look at that, didn't wouldn't think it was gonna be a thing. But no, that's okay. a whole mess. I see what you're saying. If you mean is, is it, it a psychic skunk or were they searching for a psychic No. No. Did a psychic skunk search? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what it it's either a search for a psychic skunk was a success or, or does the is a this a psychic saying su search for skunk is a success? That is a mouthful. A psychic search for a skunk. Yes, yeah, so, that was a success. Yeah. Or was so, a psychic skunk? Did they search. were they searching for a psychic skunk? Yeah. All reason in the universe tells us it's one of those. <laughs> At least. 
I was going to go, I know which one it is, but my mouth garbled again. I, I, I want to say it's that there's a psychic skunk. Well, that's of course, that's absolutely what I want to say, but that's what I was saying. I think the logic is they got a, which is, e, e, either one's stupid. They got a psychic to it's come look for a skunk. It's more stupid that you know that that skunk is psychic than you know that there is, like if a psychic person, say there's a lost skunk. Right. That's what I think it's saying. Say your skunk has gone missing. Yeah. And there's no blind people with good sniffers to find them. Why have we taken a weird... This world we making have, a shit of sense. No, we're making okay sense. But I'm saying we've taken a weird <laughs> angle. We've like come down hard on the blind in the last couple episodes. Yeah. We used to do that a long time ago, too. We do. We, yeah. We history of being way hard back, on the blind. Way back. Just coming down hard on the blind. Sorry. Nothing. Because it's, it's the most go-to reference. You know, when you're trying to say something, you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, that's like leading a blind horse to water. You can't make him look you in the mouth. As they say, right, sure. But I'm saying it makes more sense that there's a psychic man looking right. for a skunk than yes. there is a search for a psychic skunk. Yeah, because you would never find the skunk. It would always know you were coming, right? Yes. <laughs> so that would be an, uh, an exercise in futility. But... It's also stupid to think that there's a psychic that is that's where psychic level have gone. They've gone from like Miss Cleo and stuff to well, skunks. That's a that's a callback to where it's like, listen, I've got powers. Someone pay me to use them. But I like, am a skunk. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You're the man or the woman. The, I'm a the legend. No, you're not a skunk. You can be a skunk if you want. But then <laughs> <laughs> it no. seems I am a skunk. <laughs> A oh. psychic skunk. Oh my, it seems I'm a skunk now. <laughs> you know what? This whole thing just stinks. <laughs> what? Are okay. We? No, yes, we're in real life. Listen, what I'm saying is, is that where the the me psychic psychics as a medium as a, as a as an employee as an employable job you know so you're saying like i have powers but and no one believes me anymore and... so it's like they're just begging for jobs like yeah i've lost i can help you find your skunk your cat your dog your uncle you know right, right. yeah yeah I and mean, probably yeah because they have a better chance of finding a skunk that's not psychic. Can you imagine that battle of wits and psychic ability? A, if you are a human psychic versus a skunk a, psychic. Yeah. It's hard to say skunk psychic. Skunk psychic. Dunk skunk. I want to say skunk. Wait, that is how you say it. Oh. But can, they can't even say each other's names. And they're here battling. Like one's below the floorboards and the other one's a skunk drinking tea. Here's another one in strange <laughs> animal news. Yeah. Court asks if Donkey at fault for mistaking orange sports car for a carrot. The court is asking if the donkey is isn't at are fault. Are they asking the donkey? Ask the skunk, skunk psychic. They're not asking the donkey. I don't think they are. But they're asking, I suppose, if it is possible that the donkey could be at fault. How do they know the orange sports car for a carrot? I mean, how small was this thing? Or that donkey thought... Fuck yeah, yeah. If my you ships made, come in. Say you made a giant sh uh, styrofoam sugar cube. Yeah. You think you'd fool a, a horse? No, but you might fool an ant. They got less of a mind than a you horse. You wouldn't, though, because an ant doesn't know anything is sugar isn't until it, like... Oh, it's true. It's all chemical. Yeah. Ants are... Their whole world is chemical. I mean, so are ours. And a donkey. We've just taken a step backwards, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is real? <sighs> We're Are we two, the dumbest dogs? We should change this podcast to Two Dumb Dogs. <laughs> yeah. We've just been given the ability to speak and order food. And it's all. And it, in fact, the only two things we do. <laughs> we speak and order food. A donkey somehow mistook. How do they know? They this, don't. That, and somehow this is lawyer talk. This is courtroom drama what, talk. The donkey it damaged the car. Was a donkey in the courtroom? Because how can you know? The, the word if precedes... Uh, asks if, that, if it was court asks donkey. No, it's court asks <laughs> if donkey is okay. at fault for mistaking orange sports car for carrot. So what it do to the sport? It had to to eat. I, I guess mean, it tried to mess it up. But I'm saying like if you made a giant, it looked really real, but it was made out of like plexiglass and shit. Carrot. Yeah. The, the donkey's not going to connect that. Donkeys are dumb. Right, because it's on. Yeah, because it, they're going to operate. I'd say on multiple levels. It might look at it and be like that. Kind of looks like that thing I like, but. When you hand a donkey, a smell? yeah. When you hand a donkey a carrot, the first thing it does is it smells it, and then it kind of lips it, and then it kind of 
then it's like, oh yeah, this is that thing I like. So if you just show it a picture of a carrot, it's gonna be like, it's gonna, it's gonna do all those things to the picture of the carrot, and then be like, I don't like that. That looks it's not gonna lip a picture of a carrot. You think it would try? I think it would look at it and go, that looks like that thing, but it doesn't smell like it. Let me lip it, and then it's gonna be like, no, no, no. Can Shit, donkeys food. understand pictures? I don't know. Like I've always wanted to I say this all the time. I've always wanted to show a lobster to a cow so they could meet off the plate because a lobster, the chances of a lobster and a cow ever meeting without the assistance of humans. I think it's pretty rare. And not that it's never happened. A storm could blow one into a field and they might be like, whoa, this moment of... Or like, a cow into the ocean. Yeah? They're bottom feeders. I bet you lobster is eating cow more often. I thought you were saying a cow is a bottom feeder. I'm saying that lobster has yeah. eaten cow more times than cow has ever eaten a lobster. Probably, yeah. Well, no, no they used to feed. Because a, sh- a, ship, a ship goes down in the sea, okay? Sometimes there's a, sometimes there's a ship and it goes down in the sea. What you're about to experience. The th- <laughs> the, but all the things in the bottom of the sea that we've eaten, cows will never eat, but those things have eaten cows and have eaten us. More lobsters have... No, no, I, no, no. I was going to say more lobsters have eaten us than we have lobsters, but there's no way. No. No. Yeah, I'll take that back immediately. I've eaten more lobsters. Than lobsters have eaten you. <laughs> I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. I'm sure you guys heard at the top of the show, we talked about this episode being brought to you by studiosweden.com. That I'll just take a second to tell you guys, who are they? What's going on? Well, they sell headphones, guys. And they sell headphones that not only sound good, but they look great too. We have a pair here of the Regent headphones that are black and gold, and they have a real slick, modern design, and they sound great too. Bluetooth technology, it's wireless. Man, battery life, couldn't believe it. And since we mostly just use them for our computer, there's a little uh, auxiliary cord that goes there too. You guys should check them out at studiosweden.com, S-U-D-I-O, Sweden.com. they got all kinds of different types of headphones, over-the-ear, earbuds, they have different ways to customize the headphones, and they ship for free worldwide. You guys could use the coupon code GOOFGREASE, all one word, to get 15% off. Suspected car thief lured out of a tree by a taco. What's he on? Is he on that flocka? Some crazy drug. I think it's what that guy... Remember me talking about the guy I saw getting tased beyond belief? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Turns out he was on that flocka. Guys, Nate, I think this is why one of the... There's many reasons why I think you don't sleep. But I think one of them is because you just watch terrible videos all the time. But they're all not terrible. They The terrible ones sneak up on you that I'm like, all right. You've seen... Like, I've watched, I've watched like, crazy car wrecks and stuff like that, but every now and then it'll just show somebody's head blowing up. And I'm like, oh, come on. You've seen such things. Yeah. Such sights to show you. You've seen ships burning off the rings of Jupiter. <laughs> Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion, Sam. Oh, well. <laughs> I tried to make a reference for a movie I don't really particularly enjoy. Uh, who's luring thieves out of trees with taco meats? I don't know. Would that work for you? No. I mean, you'd have to be out of your gourd. You'd yeah, have to be if out you're of up in a tree... And you know, for a moment, you know, if you're so... He stole a tree. No, he didn't steal a tree. He stole a car, and now yeah. he's in a tree. What the fuck? What? I'm guessing maybe he crashed the car, climbed up in a tree, being like, cops are going to find me up here. And then the cops come and... We you know, you get you, tacos. Yeah, and they're just like... And he forgets. They lure him out being like, oh, man, come on down. It's cool. We've got tacos. And he'll be, and they'll lure him into a false sense of security. Be like, yeah, tacos. You're right. I just want tacos. Man, I just want tacos. And Do you think they'll need a taco? Do they even have tacos? I don't know. I've seen I've seen cops letting people take like drinks of booze and stuff before they're like going in to prison. Yeah, yeah. Where did you see that off the shoulder of a riot? Yeah. <laughs> Here's one that was sent to us by Zach, friend yeah. of the show. We sat here just looking for crazy news. And oh, by the way, also Zach lives with us now. Yeah. We have someone who lives with us who's also a fan of the show. Mm. If you want to live with us and be a fan of the show, <laughs> you can't. All right. It's already been taken. The position's been filled. Been filled. China sex doll sharing service suspended. Okay. Why are there so many goddamn S's in this episode? There's a lot. China sex doll sharing service has been suspended. I mean, is a sex doll something you want to share a yeah, lot? Yeah, why are you sharing it? And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that had to be the thing. Hey, you, hey guys. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to share a sex toy of any kind. Of any sort. Yeah. Well... We immediately, we immediately were like, hmm. <laughs> but no, if there's a set, I mean, like I don't clips know. Clips and clamps, maybe. Yeah. Whips and whaps. It would just have to be like, well, I don't know. Whips and whaps. The, uh, yeah, stuff like that. But if it's, uh, you know, you've got like dolls, I'm if guessing. If it's going it's like, in you or you're going in it. 
Yeah, you'd have. I would, I would need detailed proof of their the Carfax. You need the Carfax. <laughs> yeah, I want the Carfax of the sex doll. Ooh, I don't understand sex dolls. Yeah, having a whole, whole, whole big sex doll. A whole big one. A whole big one. Your big one. Like you, you've seen. Well, you've seen the your big lady. Your big lady. Have you seen? You for truth, well, the guy who has like a whole room in his apartment. He's got like eight or twelve no. sex dolls. No, I don't know this. Yeah. No. And he dresses them in clothes. It's a whole thing. I'm like, Urgh. but but okay. So we talk a lot about people eating chalk or toilet paper yeah. or hair. Yeah. I imagine having eight sex dolls. Is also a mental illness. Oh, it's something. It's a detached. It's it has to be something to do with just not being able to form relationships. Do people get sex addiction who are unable to interact with a a partner? Yes. Yeah, I would say so. That must happen. Yeah, it has. What to torture happen. is that? Well, can you be well, no, addicted to something? Because I bet, I bet part done? of it would be that you just don't want to. You're just like, I ain't got time for all that. So that's probably you buy a sex doll. You're like, I don't have to deal with going out to dinners. I don't have to do all that. I don't have to have the emotional connection oh, i just have a, a with doll dinner. With, with dinner <laughs> the but i'm saying can you be addicted to something you've never experienced so say you're a gambling addict but you've never once gambled so you're just one waiting to happen like well, then everybody's sex- something waiting to happen man we're all a fucking hair trigger of addiction walking around there's probably something everybody's addicted to heroin it could be well that's the one aside yeah maybe aside from drugs you just mean like some i just mean like fall into I don't really have a very addictive personality. I've never really understood gambling or anything like that. Uh huh. But I'm saying, like, if you're a sex addict, if you're a virgin mm-hmm. and a sex addict, virgin sex addict. I don't know how that would work. I mean, I guess you could be addicted. I mean, you could just. I feel like that's called being 16. Yeah. And just going at yourself. Carving off onto flutes. Yeah, because you know you like that feeling. You know what I mean? You just haven't figured out what is this, right? I remember that. I ever tell you a story when I was in Boy Scout camp, and it was all dudes, and uh-huh. there was one girl from fucking Brazil, uh-huh. and she was like nineteen, twenty. Mm-hmm. Why? What she was doing there? I have no idea. But I remember all like the 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 uh, counselors and stuff were all all about it, and we we're mm-hmm. little kids, whatever. But she, for some fucking reason, agreed to go in the dunk tank with just a white T-shirt on. <laughs> And I have never seen more people <laughs> unified for <a> cause <laughs> than to get her into that dunk tank. There's 12 year old boys just flying in the space. But the thing is, we were pretty young. Mm-hmm. So, like, we knew that we wanted her to go into the dunk tank. But you didn't really know why? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like something about me wants that. <laughs> but I don't. Mm, a big, a lot of me yeah. wants that to happen. Yeah. Why, though? So what I'm saying is, like, maybe we could be addicted to things and not urge. Maybe it's like, we talk, okay, again, to bring it back to the blind, they lose an ability. They Mm -hmm. can't see. But maybe there are things, experiences out there that our mortal bodies. Like a mantis shrimp? Can't achieve. Mantis are also, what? No, no, no. Let me finish. (laughs) I'm saying, imagine, like, a higher dimensional creature. Okay. The pleasures that it has. Uh Uh-huh. Beyond the scope of our Frail 3D bodies. Mm-hmm. Right? Imagine the kind of shit that a fifth dimensional creature could be addicted to. Right. And then it's like, it, it would just hey, melt our brain. Look at you, 3D fuck. Take a take a hit off that. LSD. <laughs> We're like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm just man. saying, I'm just saying, like, you know, think of a color you've never seen before. Yeah. Think of an experience you've never felt before. Think of a dimension you've never loved before. Write it now at Universal Orlando. What am I talking about? What's, what I do don't you, know. You went off some big weird fucking tangent, man. China sex doll service has been suspended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for that. Suspend it. <laughs> Whatever. Buy your own sex doll, man. All right. Let's do one more. This is because this ties in with the flute thing we talked about before. Man's bodily fluid in Detroit airport sorts a bit. <sighs> it's past Sam's bedtime. <laughs> Man's bodily fluid in Detroit airport soap dispensers. Okay. Again, how yeah. do they know to look for it? Because somebody's, there's, there's, there's fishiness happening. This isn't lathering. Like I told you about whenever we caught that janitor pissing in the hallways years ago behind, in the, the you know, those little corridors behind the stores and the mall. mall. yeah. And it was just fishiness happening. Like there was something smelly back there. We kept seeing this guy sneak in and out. We're like, let's put two and two together. Why bother doing that? Right, and he was he was doing it. it had to be at it for malice, because I mean he knew where all the bathrooms were. Clearly, he was the custodian of the damn place. You don't want to go down clean them. Yeah, so we just jumped out and took a picture of him mid pee. Was like, got you, buddy. Cause he stunk. That was nasty. It was a big the whole. Cause it didn't have anywhere to go. It's just a hallway full of piss. 
We're like, don't do that, man. You know, it's just people he was, in his mind. He's probably like, fuck this place. You know, but, I mean, if that were if he wasn't the one doing it, even even though he is the one doing it, he'd be the guy they called to clean it. Right. So what the fuck? Joke's on him. Right. Well, he guess what? He never cleaned it. He, <gasps> that was part of the. No. Yeah, that was far, part of the uh, fishiness of the whole thing. His pee smells fishy? No, that it wasn't ever getting cleaned up. So he's peeing Why is that back. fishy? I don't mean fishy like it smells like fish. Or I mean like suspicious. Because he's cleaning everything else up. Why isn't he cleaning up this big pool of piss? Because Why is he peeing the piss to begin with? Why is that foot fishy? What's suspicious? I don't understand the, the mystery. What? <laughs> we knew somebody was peeing in the hallways and we didn't know who. That's the mystery. Oh, but you caught him? Yeah, we caught him. We put two and two together. I said two and two. He go We are not on the same page with all this episode. <laughs> he, we keep there's pee in the hallway. Pee, got it. Smells bad back there. Roger. Why is somebody peeing back here? Who is it? Let's find out. Okay, how do we do that? We start watching. Somebody's back here. We're just gonna hang out in the hallway watching? No, but what we do is we kept seeing that janitor go in that hallway. Oh, we've been watching the door. Yeah. So not then even. next thing we saw him in the back because he was always by the time we get from the front of the store to the back of the store, he was done. But what we had to do to get proof was like, he's pissing. It's clear he's doing it. Why am I going on about this for so long? We called him and took a picture of him. Okay. Get out of here, buddy. Me? All right. Both of so, us. So, all right. We got to play the card. Yeah. My vote, Psychic Skunk. We got Psychic Skunk. We got bodily fluids in the airport soap dispenser we didn't even talk about. We got dog tuxedo, forward seat, uh, blind burglar. That's got my vote. Blind burglar? That's the one that you said had was most... What was the that other That was one? before Psychic Skunk, though. Psychic Skunk Search. We don't know if it was a sky... I'm not going to get into it. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well, pick it. I bet, I bet that one's... I Psychic bet... Skunk? Sure, go for it. I want to do Blind Burglar. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just being <laughs> difficult. <laughs> oh, you went with Psychic Skunk. If I can zig when I said I was going to zag. Well, that's clear what that one is. A it's self-proclaimed just... clairvoyant in England is credited with correctly sensing the location of a lost pet... Boo! Let's Boo. play the card again. S or he, you don't have to be psychic to smell a skunk. You just walk till it stinks. Blind burglar jailed for his 100... Oh, fuck you. The, okay, hold on. Blind burglar jailed for his 192nd offense after leading police on chase from school raid into river. A yeah. blind burglar has been jailed... Okay, yeah, that's the, the headline is literally the first sentence right. of the Right. Paul Anthony Gibson, 55, is registered blind, but has a degree of partial vision, which enables him to walk using a nightstick. But Carlisle Crown Court <laughs> heard last Friday how his terrible eyesight has not stopped him from raking up a string of 191 previous criminal offenses. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so See, he played the system. He's like, they think I'm blind. It's the person you least suspect. It's not the blind guy. Surely, they, not they the blind guy. stealing scrap metal. They were st oh, st my God. Stealing scrap metal. The loudest of the metals. <laughs> Does uh, it say the loudest of the metals? Um, that's a little edit editorial, editorialism on my part. Yeah, he did that, and then he... Oh, he was wading through a river. That's when they found him. If you're blind, you don't need to be wading. Of, of his 191 offenses, 54 were for theft or some other similar dishonesty-style crimes. Well, I mean, most crimes I imagine are, are dishonesty-style. On hey, buddy, going to rob you. Honesty-style. <laughs> yeah, honesty-style. <laughs> What's it this? Of course. That's going to do it for us again this week on the Royal Yeah. Way. That's what happens when we play the card, man. It's usually pretty straightforward. Yeah, that one was that one was all right. I enjoyed knowing about that more than I did that skrunk. I want to thank Kishibashi for letting us use his song, Intro slash Pathos, Pathos off the album 151A. Right. I want to thank Zach and I want to thank John for submitting some headlines. If you guys want to submit headlines, you know, and you should. You really should. You guys can do that at Royal Wecast. On Twitter or royalweekcast at gmail.com. I also want to thank Studio Sweden for sponsoring today's podcast. Again, that is studiosweden.com. S-U-D-I-O.com. 15% off, guys. They ship worldwide. Sweet headphones. Get yeah. you some. Get you some. You can use the coupon code GoofGrease to get 50% off, guys. Thank you for finding the sound effect, Nate. I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. You guys should have done sound effects too. Yeah. Oh. All right. May have been our most professional podcast yet. <laughs> We're all over the place.